Chaturvidya Prakriya, the methodology or the methodology of communication where consciousness is seen in four manners, in fourfold manners. With the help of this fourfold Akasha example. So Chaturvidya, Akasha Chaturvidya Drishtantena, Chit Chaturvidya Prakriya. All right. And so, first, the drishtanta part is explained. And drishtanta is akasha. So, four types of akasha. Achha. And what are those four types? Katakasha, Jalakasha, Meghakasha, Mahakasha. And Chaitanya, what are they? Kutastha, the changeless one. Jiva, the individual. Ishvara, the Lord. Brahma, the limitless consciousness. So, these are the four types of Chaitanya. This is just for Prakriya. Upadesha Dayam Vadaha Nate Dvaitam Da Vidyate. Just for the Upadesha, for the purpose of communication, this type of division is done. Nate, when you understand what really Chaitanya is, then Dvaitam Da Vidyate. Then Dvaitam, this duality, Chatur Vidyam, the fourfoldness is not there. So people should not think that yeah, there are four Chaitanyam. So I am only one Chaitanyam. The other three Chaitanyam are there. It is only for Prakriya. It is only for this communication. That part we should not forget. Otherwise, <clears throat> we will limit ourselves to only one of these four. I am Jiva Chaitanyam. And somebody is Kutastha Chaitanyam. Somebody is Ishvara Chaitanyam. So that is not the Tattaryam. Tattaryam is just to understand and to explain the division. The whole Prakriya is meant for explaining our experience. That how come if I am Chaitanya, I am not feeling Sarvagna. Ishvara is Sarvagna. I am not Sarvagna. Like you know, my elder brother, he knows everything. You know, he is given uh, thousands of rupees every month for his college fee. For me, only 500 rupees. So, like these the children have got this rivalry, sibling rivalry. Similarly, said to Ishwara is also Chaitanya. I am also Chaitanya. The Ishwara is a servant there. I am one person. So, so that, that type of mind may come. Why it is so? <clears throat> so, to explain the these differences, we are making this division. <clears throat> if Prakriyas are generally meant for that. The discrepancy between the experience and the truth is explained by the Prakriya. That is the purpose of Prakriya. <clears throat> so the vision of Vedanta and our conclusions or experiences, how they are not matching. And to match them, this particular some Prakriya will be used. All right. But our purpose is to understand the vision of Shruti. So, we, this Prakriya will take us from our level of experience to the vision of Shruti. That is the purpose of Prakriya. And we will not see the any see, see any discrepancy between our experience and the vision of Shruti. 
नव चतुर्विध आकाश वर्णन घटाकाश विवर्सी पॉट स्पेस जलपूरित घटावस्था यहां आकाश अवकाश ददा तवान आकाश घटाकाश इति पंडित ही उच्य है घटाकाश मीन पॉट स्पेस एंड जनरल मीनिंग इज स्पेस ऑक्युपाइड बै पॉट अलॉंग विथ इट्स वॉल थिकनेस इज कॉल पॉट स्पेस घटाकाश बट पंडित विल से पंडित वे so we will say that uh, you know this um, this person is the name of this person is devadatta then we will say abhina abhidhanatvava chinna abhidha abhidana avachedena sah devadatta they will say it differently we say his name is devadatta pandita will not say like this उटिटी It is not simply for scholarship. They have got higher level of accuracy, which is not required for us. We don't have the question which they have. They are giving the specific, accurate definitions because they have so many questions. If we say like this, this problem will come. If we say like this, this problem will come. Therefore, we have to say like this. For us, questions are not there. Therefore, answers are not required. And therefore, simple definition okay. They require it. Like a laboratory person and the ordinary people, water we require little bit dirt is there, little bit uh, this mixing is there is okay. But laboratory purpose they require higher purity of water, so that's why they give this definition. So we should not have aruchi to panditas. You know. We need not become pandita, but at least we should not have distaste towards pandita. They we understand that they have necessity to say in this manner, okay. But some panditas are really just to confuse others and to impress others and to snub other person. They use complicated expression. That is different. But genuine pandita they have to say like this. Okay, jalapuri ta gata gata avasthana ya yava na kasha avakasham dadati for the the stay for remaining of The pot filled with um, water, yava na kasha. However much space gives accommodation to that pot, that much space is called gata kasha. And then footnote we were seeing that uh, the definition you have given is different from well-known definition of gata kasha. He said, "Nanu gata bhi sita ha akasha maha kasha." तस्मात् भिन्नः घटांतरवर्ति आकाशः घटाकाश इति च प्रसिद्धि हि हि सेस द स्पेस आउटसाइड द पॉट इज कॉल्ड महाकाश ओनली एंड तस्मात् भिन्नः डिफरेंट फ्रॉम दैट घटावर्ति आकाश घटांतरवर्ति द स्पेस व्हिच इज इन इन दिस द हाई सेस वाटर इज अबो बैटरी सेल निकलेगा सो सो जलपुरी जलपुरी बैटरी विद्युत कोश इट इज संस्कृत विद्युत कोश पुरी सो दिस ऑब्जेक्टर इज से बहिस्थित आकाश दि आकाश विच इज ऊटसाइड द पॉट इज कॉल महाकाश एंड द स्पेस विच इज इन साइड द पॉट विच इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम दट महाकाश एट लीज एक्सपीरियंशियली That is called gata kasha. So generally, the space inside the pot is called gata kasha, and tatra gata kasha. That being so, gata kasha is a prasiddham lakshanam bihaya. Having given up the well-known the lakshana, the definition of gata kasha. What is the well-known definition? The space obtaining inside the pot is called gata kasha pot space. Having given up that definition. लक्षणांतर करणे 
in making another definition. Lakshanantara means Sanya Lakshana. Karana means doing. In doing or making another definition of Gata Kasha, Kim Prayojanam, what is the purpose? Whatever is the Sthitasya Gati Chintanya, whatever is there you try to manage with that. Why you are changing? Kim Prayojanam Itichet Uchyate Atra Uchyate. In this regard, the answer is given. Up to this, we had seen. Actually, ah, okay. So, <laughs> Gatantar Varti Akashaha Gata Akashaha. Okay. The space inside the pot is called pot space. Iti Prasiddha Lakshana Svikare. On acceptance of that well known definition of pot space, Gataha Yatra Vartate Sa Akashaha. Panchamaha Kapala Kasha. They are printing, printing some kais remaining. He is left out. Panchamaha Kapala Kasha. Kapalasha is not there. There is no thing called Kapalasha. Kapalasya Asha or something. <laughs> <laughs> there is no such thing. Iti Vaktavyam Bhavet. So he says, if you accept the well-known definition of pot space, and what is well-known? The space obtaining in, pot, in the pot, then, Gataha Yatra Vartate, where the pot is there, means pot walls are there. Sa Akashaha, that Akasha, we have to say Panchamaha Kapala Akasha. It is the fifth Kapala Akasha, means pot wall space. Iti Vaktabhyam Bhave. In this manner, it needs to be told. So, what he wants to say, that if we go by the popular definition, then, Inside the space inside the pot you are calling this pot space. Space outside the pot you are calling total space, Mahakasha. Then what about the space occupied by the wall of the pot? We have to give another name. So already four spaces is there. Lot of, lot of space problem. Four spaces are there. And now one more. One more you have to introduce. What? Kapala. Pot wall space. That another name we have to give. So, Panchamaha Kapala Akasha Iti Vaktavyam Bhave. So, instead of Chaturvida Akasha, we will have Panchavida Akasha. Chaturvida itself, people finding problem. One lady was telling Swamiji, now I am studying the Chaitanya, 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 everywhere Chaitanya, four types of Chaitanya, in other texts also Chaitanya, the Pramad Chaitanya, Prame Chaitanya, Pramiti Chaitanya. So, so many types of Chaitanya. I said, yeah, I think you are one Chaitanya. <laughs> anyway, so well, four are enough. So uh, again, fifth we have to make. Sacha Panchama Prakaraha Akashaha Shastra Prasiddha And the Akasha, which is of the fifth type, called Kapala Akashaha. Kapala Akasha means pot wall space. That Shastra Prasiddha is not well known in the Shastra. So he said, not well known, you bring one more. Fifth space. So he says, Siddhante Arambhavada Nangi Karat. This is just a, is a scholarly statement. It is not a really technical statement. Siddhante Arambhavada Nangi Karat means, in Siddhanta, in Advaita Vedanta Siddhanta, Arambhavada is not accepted. What is Arambhavada? Karyam. Nutanataya arabhyate iti vada. The effect is newly born. It was not there, newly born. It is otherwise called asat karya vada. So asat karya vada, otherwise called arambha vada means karanam paramanavaha karanani krishnam karyam jagat arabhante. So the atoms, this is, is a Nyaya Shastra. This Paramanavaha, the atoms are newly starting the entire world. Atoms newly start the entire world. And Karana Gunaha, the attributes of the cause are newly starting the attributes of the effect. Karana Gunaha Karya Gunancha Arabhante. This type of view is called Arambhavadaha. 
it will be more clear when you contrast with the satkaryavada satkaryavada what it says that karyam is already there in the karanam before it was created and that is called satkaryavada whereas this nayayika they said no the karyam was not there in the karanam karyam is newly born newly started that type of view is called arambhavada is a nayayika nam and that arambhavada is not accepted by us siddhante arambhavadasya anangikarat anangikarat means because of the non acceptance of arambhavada the view of new beginning or the the view of beginning of the new things that arambhavada is not accepted therefore tasmad idam dvitiya lakshanam ashritam sadhu therefore this second lakshana the second definition which is resorted to by us is proper acha what is the connection between arambhavada anangikara and uh, the panchama prakara akasha shastra prasiddha he says fifth type of akasha is not there accepted so now we have to create some new one and we don't believe in the production of new one therefore we will not go for the new one we will go by what is shastra prasiddha that is what is siddhante arambhavada anangikara he doesn't have any technical connotation he is just using this this language to convey the idea that that which is not shastra prasiddha we have to bring it and for that we have to again do karana vichara also the fifth akasha you have brought so now what is the karana and karana we will not be able to found, find out and since we are not able to find out therefore we will say that is karyam is newly born karanam was karyam was really not there but it is newly born and therefore we we will not be able to go as per our siddhanta our siddhanta is the new karyam is not started so new akasha we don't want to start that is what it means okay siddhante arambhavada anangikara so there is no uh, source for uh, there is no way to explain the fifth type of akasha and therefore whatever is shastra prasiddha we go by that and therefore idam dvitiyam lakshanam ashritam sadhu in brief what is the answer answer is that if we don't include this the thickness of the wall then we we have to imagine the fifth akasha so instead of fifth we imagine we can include in the first one itself that's what it means therefore we don't say gata akasha is equal to the space obtaining inside the pot we say space occupied by pot all right that is the gata akasha now jala akasha this gata akasha <coughs> is completed now second space jala akasha jala purne this <coughs> gata akasha will be the example for kutastha sakshi it will come just for our curiosity you know that why gata akasha comes because gata akasha is an example for kutastha sakshi the witness consciousness which is changeless now jala akasha which will be comparison jalakasha will be comparison with jiva yes. apna wala hai jalakasha jiva <laughs> jiva what is the definition of jalakasha jalam is water akasha space the space conditioned by water is called jalakasha and that is giving definition jalapurne gate nakshatradi sahita akasha pratibimbati तादृशाकाश प्रतिबिंब इति उभयं मिलित्वा जलाकाशः इति उच्यते सो व्हाट इज जलाकाश इट इज कंसिस्टिंग ऑफ टू बिगिन विथ टू थिंग्स वन इज दिस घटाकाश एंड द रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ द स्पेस द पॉट स्पेस प्लस द स्पेस व्हिच इज रिफ्लेक्टेड इन द पॉट वाटर that is called jalakasha that is said here jalapurne ghate in the pot which is filled with water nakshatradi sahita akasha 
the space along with the stars. Nakshatra means constellation, stars. Pratibhimbati reflects or is reflected in the pot filled with water. The space along with the star etc. is reflected. And Tadrisha Kasha Pratibhimbaha The reflection of space, such space. Tadrisha means Lakshatra Adi Sahita. So the reflection of such space, Ghatta Kasha Hacha and pot space, Iti Ubhayam Militva Having joined together, Jala Kasha Iti Uchyate is called Jalakasha. So Jalakasha is consisting of Uridhalakasha, conditioned by the pot, plus the reflection of Akasha. So reflected Akasha plus original space conditioned by the pot, they both this put together is called Jalakasha. Why we have to bring the original Akasha? Because Pratibhimba cannot be there without this original. And therefore, along with the Pratibhimba, the original also is brought. But original space conditioned by this pot. So, space conditioned by pot and the reflection of space obtaining found in this pot space, or the, in the water in the pot, that is called Jalakasha. So, reflected Akasha. Yes, Akasha reflected in the water of the pot. And the space conditioned by this pot, both of them together is called Jalakasha. Alright. On this, the footnote is given. Jala Nakshatra Adi Sahita. Jalapuri te Jalapuri Tagate Drishyamana Akasha Pratibimbaha Gatantaravarti Akasha Pratibimbaha Iti Shanka Vyavrutte Nakshatra Adi Sahita Akasha Visheshanam. Jalapurite Ghate in the pot which is filled with water Drishyamana Akasha Pratibhimbaha the reflection of the space which is seen is Ghatantaravarti Akasha Pratibhimba is the is reflection of the space obtaining in the pot Iti Shanka Vyavrutte to remove the doubt that the space which you are seeing in the water of the pot is not the space, is not the reflection of the space which is inside the pot. A, to that, remove that particular possibility of doubt that this space which you are seeing in the water of the pot is this the reflection of the space which is inside the pot. It is said, Nakshatra Adi Sahita Akasha Visheshanam. It is the, the Visheshanam, the adjective is given, the Akasha which is along with the nakshatra, along with the stars. What it wants to say that in the pot there is water and in, in front of this water above there is space which is along with the stars. That space is reflected in, in the water and that space is meant here. Not the space which is there in the pot that is reflected, that is not meant here. Afterwards we will go to that view also. But right now what we are saying, the, in this pot there is water. Maybe you can fill some water. So water is there. And in that, the space along with the stars is reflected. So the space reflected in this pot, uh, uh, pot water and this pot space, both of them together is called Jalakasha. Viti Uchyate. Then question is that... Uh, <clears throat> Why Ghatakasha is included? The answer is that Pratibhimba can be there only when this Bimbasthaniya, sorry, the, the basis for the Pratibhimba is there. And therefore Ghatakasha is used. Apicha Jalambina Pratibhimba Sambhavat Akasha Pratibhimba Iti Anena Ghatastha Jala Sahita Akasha Pratibhimba Grahya. So he says, moreover, without water, Pratibhimba is not possible. Reflection is not possible. Therefore, when it is said Akasha Pratibhimba, then Gatastha Jala Sahita Akasha Pratibhimba Graya. So, we have to understand the reflection of the space along with the water in the pot. So, now one more thing is added. Water also. 
So Jalakasha is equal to three things. One is the pot space and other is this reflect the space which is reflected in the pot water and also this water. All three put together. Why he is going he is doing this? Because water is the Upadi Sthaniya. And therefore he wants to include the Upadi also while describing Jiva. Therefore he, he here that also is included. Alright. So Jalakasha reflected is equal to reflected Akasha, original pot space and water. Reflecting medium. Alright. Now one question is raised. That how can you talk about the reflection of space? Because reflection is always possible which has got some forms and colors. Akasha doesn't have any shape and color. How can you talk about this reflection of space? That question is raised and answered. Is Panchadashi also this is done? Nanu Akashasya Pratibhimbahana Yujyate Kintu Kevala Nakshatra Dina Meva Saha Yujyate Oh, Tippani 2. That's it. But Tippani... Oh, but the... Tatrish Akasha Pratibhimbaha. Ah, Kata Akasha. Here, actually, this Tippani should be in the Nirupa. It will come, I will tell you that time. Ah. It's that this Tippani Nakshatra, this site, it looks like two only, no? Huh? At one. So actually this Tippani should be come after Yujyateva because when we see you will understand it will come there only. So we will see after this Yujyateva. He, that is based on the Tarka Shastra, this, this Pune Gunanangi Karat, all this thing will come so we will understand. So let us complete this in Mulam then we will see that. So doubt is raised. Nanu Akashasya Pratibhimbahana Yujyate. The reflection of space is not tenable. Na yujyate, not tenable. Kintu, but kevala nakshatra dina meva. Saha, saha means pratibimba. The reflection of only stars is tenable. So when you have this water in the pot, you are not seeing the reflection of space according to Puropakshi. You are seeing only reflection of the stars. That's reflection of stars is possible because stars have got some form, color. Therefore, stars can have reflection. This space cannot have reflection. Why? Rupa bhavat na akashasya pratibimbha sambhavati. Because of the absence of rupa. Rupa has got both the meaning, form and color. So, because of the absence of these forms and colors, the pratibimba of akasha, the reflection of akasha, na sambhavati, is not possible. Why? He said there is a rule, rupavatahi pratibimba hasyat. Because because pratibimba reflection would be there only of those which has got form, color. So akasha does not have the rupa, the forms and colors, tasmat. Na akashasya pratibimbaha yujyate. Therefore, the reflection of akasha is not possible, not tenable. Iti chet. If this is the doubt. So, what is the doubt? Akasha does not have rupam. Anything which has got rupam alone can have reflection. And therefore, akasha cannot have reflection. Iti chet. Na. He says it is not so. We have to accept. Akasha also is reflected. The simple explanation is this. When you are seeing <coughs> yourself in the mirror, that time you see some gap between you and mirror. In the mirror itself you see. And we in, the, we in physics we have studied that uh, the spin and mirror explanation. So focal length and all this as much it is away from the mirror, so much deep it will be seen in the mirror. That all focal length, all this we have studied in the 8th, 9th standard physics. So, you are seeing and something is behind little bit. That it is behind by some distance. That distance also you are seeing. 
and the distance is space only therefore whether you accept or not this space is reflected a space is understood by us in terms of distance the distance is only space and therefore space also is reflected not only things are reflected space also reflected therefore if you see like if i put this then you will see that two hands are apart they have got distance you see reflection so the distance is in terms of what space only therefore you are seeing the reflection of space nahi hona chahiye hota hai nahi drishte anupapannam nama nahi drishte anupapannam nama means if something is seen you cannot dismiss it by saying that it is not possible generally my favorite example is this <laughs> somebody somebody says that i got married just spend 5000 How can you marry with five thousand rupees only? Marriage costs two lakhs, five lakhs. Nowadays, two crore, five thousand. How can you marry? This is my wife. Meet my <laughs> wife, Sarita. <laughs> so I married. You cannot dismiss the fact of by getting married just because of your logic. How can you get married? You didn't have money. You just have few thousand. How can you get married? and so when something is already happened you cannot dismiss it based on logic this is called nahi drishte anupapannam nama something we can't imagine but that happens you know, that uh, <clears throat> sometimes the dog can be stuck between the horns of the cow possible how can it happen it happens you know. in in mahabharata it comes that <laughs> the the uh, what is called the bull bull was stuck with the with the cap in the camel's head or something possible the bull was you know was up in the air and this person was taking the bull and it 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 was hanging up how possible possible many times in life we see should not happen should not happen happens some how can they miss it you know the gap is there between that oh person can miss it you think they should not be missed the like steps are there so there are different steps so they how can they be no but they miss therefore you paint it you know? that's why in murphy's law also is there what if something can go wrong it will go wrong even though you think it cannot go wrong but if it possibility is there it will go uh, you may ask how come how come you know, happened if some some person did a you know the story comes that one person asked narad ji that you please tell bhagwan ask bhagwan whether will i get child or not he, he asked bhagwan the bhagwan said he doesn't have child for seven janmas then narad ji told this person and this person said i am not bothered my wife was so much interested and therefore i asked in fact he she forced me to ask this i am okay then after a few years when naraj ji comes back he said he had three four children so is our neighbor's children they <laughs> need how it happened he said one mahatma came and this mahatma he gave me the blessing you will have four children but now but i my prarabdha seven janma no i am telling you will have then had then the narad ji got angry that's a big story narad ji got angry he said bhagwan you put me wrong <laughs> people will not believe me <laughs> then bhagwan said he is a different type of devotee and then story goes that he he was he was ready to even burn his body to make some milk for bhagwan So he said, when that type of devotee is there, then I I keep my law aside. Nahi dreshte anupapanna nama happens. So he says. So my answer is this: the person said that a reflection of space should not be there. Is seen or not? Is there? Okay. Now he gives uh, the answer in a slightly different manner. Rupa vata hai pratim. Okay. जले आकाश प्रतिबिंबानुपगमे 
ಗೋಷ್ಪದ ಪರಿಮಾಣ ಪರಿಮಾಣಕ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಜಲೆ ಮಹಾಗಜಾದಿ ಪರಿಮಾಣಕ ಗಭೀರತಾಯ ಪ್ರತಿಬಿಂಬ ನಸ್ಯಾತ್ ಜಲೆ ಆಕಾಶ ಪ್ರತಿಬಿಂಬ ಅನಭ್ಯುಪಗಮೆ ಇಫ್ ದಿ ರಿಫ್ಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಇನ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟೆಡ್ ಅನಭ್ಯುಪಗಮೆ ಗೋಷ್ಪದ ಪರಿಮಾಣಕ ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಜಲೆ ಇನ್ ದಿ ವಾಟರ್ ವಿಚ್ ಈಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ದ ಸೈಜ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಫೀಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕೌ ಆರ್ ದಿ ಸೈಜ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಕೌಸ್ ಫುಟ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಲಿಟಲ್ when cow might have uh, might have put his uh, her leg and uh, because of that some uh, depression was there then that some water is there that is called goshpada goshpada lit, uh, generally it means uh, cow's foot mark goshpada in shastra when we want to present something small we say goshpada parimana means size swalpa jala very little water equal to the size of the cow's foot mark in that water mahagajadi parinama gabhirataya pratibimba nasyat there would not be this reflection of gabhirata gabhirata means depth there will not be the reflection of the depth which is parimanaka which is of the size of big elephant etc in that that was very little water you will not see the depth suppose there is a there is a aeroplane or something and is a big thing but a, a aeroplane is there at some height and you see that much aeroplane is at, at some height you see the reflection of the aeroplane with the height which is very big the depth of the aeroplane or depth of the object or depth of the bird here his is called height so he, he, from water standpoint is the depth but the object is height so that height or the depth you, which is of huge size that you will not see because water is only this much one uh, one or two inches thickness in that how you are able to see very huge depth it means space is reflected if space is not reflected then this type of experience you will not have the experience of depth equal to the size of big elephant in the water which is of very little quantity is possible only when that is akasha pratibimba is there if it is not there you cannot see this depth the very depth experience of the depth in this water is possible only when akasha pratibimba is there that is putting is a pandita vesu a simple one is that when you see reflection you see the depth and the depth is nothing but space and therefore space reflection is there tatha upalabhyamanatvat akasha pratibimba angi karya eva tatha upalabhyamanatvat since it and since it is experience in that manner that manner means gaja maha gajadi parimanakatvena gabhirataya upalabhyamanatva since the depth is experience in the size of with the size of the big elephant means you are able to see this very big depth a very huge depth in that water small quantity of water therefore ಆಕಾಶ ಪ್ರತಿಬಿಂಬ ಅಂಗೀಕಾರ್ಯ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ದ ರಿಫ್ಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಪೇಸ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಅಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಸೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಹ್ಯೂಜ್ ಡೆಪ್ತ್ ಇನ್ ಎ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ಕ್ವಾಂಟಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ವಾಟರ್ ದ ಡೆಪ್ತ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಆರ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ಓರಿ ಲಿಟಲ್ ಬಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಸೀಯಿಂಗ್ ದ ಡೆಪ್ತ್ ಆಫ್ ವೆರಿ 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 ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ಡ್ ವೆರಿ ಡೀಪ್ ಡೆಪ್ತ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಸೀಯಿಂಗ್ ವೆರಿ ಲಾಂಗ್ ಡೆಪ್ತ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಸೀಯಿಂಗ್ huge depth you are seeing and therefore akasha pratibimba angikarya now but is it what happened to our rule our rule so some people are ruly people so always rule what happened to my rule he said nacha nirupa padartha pratibimba nasti iti vachyam nacha vachyam is a style of presenting purva paksha so siddhanti is telling you should not raise this doubt before you raise the doubt i am telling <laughs> 
anticipatory bail it's called. The anticipatory <laughs> bail is this. Nacha vachyam. You should not raise this doubt. Who is telling? Siddhanti. What doubt? Nirupa padartha pratibimbaha nasti. There is no reflection of the thing which is free from rupam. Nirgataha rupam yasmat. Padartha atsa padarthaha nirupa padarthaha. So, the rori, so rori is applied here. Therefore, rori is a dirga, so nirupa. Where ni is there. Okay. Then the other sutra is what? Dralope. Dralope ras. Dirgo and, and then rori. Therefore, is a nirupa. Nirupa padartha pratibimbaha. Nasti iti navachya. So, Siddhanta is telling, don't raise this objection that the anything which does not have form and color should not have reflection. Why? Nirupasya api shabdasya prati bimba prati dvani nidarshanat vyabhichara sthanam asti. Your niyama, your rule has got a place of violation. Therefore, your rule is not absolute rule. Nirupasya api shabdasya. For a word which is the sound, here no, word not word, shabda means sound. Even for the sound which is formless, sound doesn't have form, sound doesn't have color. So for the sound which is free from color, prati dvani darshanat, but we are seeing the reflection of sound. Reverberation is there, echo is there. Ah, so echo is there and therefore an echo is what? Echo is the reflection of sound. That's what he says. Such a prati dvani. And that prati dvani, that echo, shabdasya prati bimbaha eva, is the reflection of sound alone. And what is the prati bimba definition? Throwing back. In fact, I saw what is the definition of prati bimba? Throwing back. Anything which is thrown back. Throwing back by a body of surface, body or surface of light, heat and sound. That is called reflection. And that is throwing back. So, echo is what? Throwing back of sound. And therefore, is a pratibimba only. Pratibimba you call reflection. Reflection is that, throwing back. So, this uh, when uh, wall or something is there, sound goes, comes back. Something I observed, something thoda le leta hai, thoda baad me bhed deta hai. Shabda se pratibimba ha eva. Alright. So, what do you want to say? Echo for sound is there. And sound does not have rupam. So sound does not have rupam, still it has got echo and echo is reflection of sound. It means sound has reflection. And sound is formless. So formless sound also has got reflection. Therefore, formless should not have reflection, that rule is violated. And once violated is good enough. Like one person is allowed to do something exempted, that dusra turan dusra di jayega. Swamiji, I also can do it. Third and third. I also, Swamiji. I heard that Swamiji is giving exemption. Ah, okay, okay. <laughs> so that's why we are very particular about precedence, you know. So because people are just waiting, you know. So one small hole is there, so little bit goes, other thing also will go. So Siddhanta is saying, let's see, we show you. This place where rupam is not there, still reflection is there. Tasmat nirupasya api akashasya pratibimbaha yujyate eva. Therefore, therefore means what? Niyamasya vyabicharitvat or niyama bhavat. That nirupasya pratibimbaha nasti, that rule is, is a violable, can be violated. If that, that type of absolute rule is not there, therefore, that is the meaning of tasmat. Ukta niyamasya vyabicharat or bhavadukta niyamasya anaikanti katvat. So many ways we can say tasmat. Therefore, nirupasya api akashasya. Even of the space which is formless, pratibimbaha, the reflection, yujyate eva is possible. It's definitely possible. Phir bhi naya ik loge bolle ki ye sab thik nahi lagta hai. Our rule. <laughs> Again there is our rule. <laughs> so the naya ik needs to be answered. And if we answer in their own prakriya, they will be happy. So we have to go to their ground and defeat them. 
यू नो उनको खींचते हैं लाके मारते तो अच्छा नहीं लगता है उनको जाके वहां पीटो आपके ग्राउंड में आके आपको मारते कबड्डी कबड्डी सो नाउ दिस टिप्पणी करा डस दैट जॉब यू नो सी किंतु द्रव्यम एव इति नियमः तो वी आर काउंटर एक्टिंग दी रूल विथ अनदर रूल सिद्धांत इज टेलिंग सी इन योर इन योर प्रक्रिया इन योर न्याय प्रक्रिया यू हैव दिस रूल व्हाट गुण गुण आश्रित गुण गुण आश्रित न तिष्ठती they have got two things they have got sapta padartha dravya guna uh, what is called um, dravya guna uh, ha eh? dravya guna karma dravya guna karma we have not done for quite some time <laughs> dravya guna karma uh, dravya guna dravya guna karma then uh, uh, samavaya abhava vishesha द्रव्य हा द्रव्य गुण द्रव्य गुण कर्म समवाय द्रव्य गुण कर्म समवाय भाव विशेष द्रव्य गुण कर्म समवाय विशेष अभाव एंड वन मोर इज दैट द्रव्य गुण द्रव्य गुण कर्म सम द्रव्य गुण कर्म समवाय विशेष अभाव वन इज वन इज मिसिंग ओके समथिंग मस्ट बी दैट वन All right. So they have got seven padartha. Out of these, we require only two. So don't worry. So six, so many. Why is seven? Seven will come. I have not. Uh, this is not there in my mind for quite some time. So because we are studying Mandukya and this Vichar Sagara, so this is not. So they have got two padarthas. Out of seven, the two are one is dravya substance, other is guna attribute. And regarding that, they have a rule. What is the rule? गुण गुण आश्रित न तिष्ठति एन एट्रीब्यूट डज नॉट रिमेन रिसोर्टिंग टू दिस एट्रीब्यूट एट्रीब्यूट कैन नॉट रिमेन इन एट्रीब्यूट लाइक दे हैव गॉट गुण लाइक रूपम इज ए गुण रस इज ए गुण दे हैव गॉट सो मेनी गुण बुद्धि आलो इज गुण फॉर दैट बुद्धि ज्ञानम इज गुटवल गुण सो गुण कैनॉट रिमेन इन गुण Where does it remain? Kintu dravyam eva. We have to supply kintu dravyam eva ashritya tishthati. Guna can remain resorting to support being supported on dravyam substance only. So rupam can remain only in some substance like prithvi, jala, agni. It cannot remain in the rasa. Rupam cannot remain in rasa, so guna cannot remain in guna. So gune guna nangi kara. That is the the, the language. Gune guna nangi kara. In one guna, in one attribute, there is no other attribute. Therefore, guna ha nir guna. Guna ha nir guna. Clear na? No? Guna is nir guna. Guna doesn't have guna. That's a nice thing. Guna itself is nir guna. So nayaikas we tell this is apart side note. So they don't accept nir guna anything. So we said you accept yeah your guna is nir guna. So they don't accept atma to be nir guna. So we say see your guna can be nir guna. Then why not our atma? <laughs> is that apart? So here, kintu dravyam eva ashritya tishthati. An attribute cannot remain. being supported by attribute it can remain only supported by substance idi niyama asti na va vilas nayi ayita ha asti asti so they will say yes yes yeah that rule is there very much there okay then listen atashya gunatvena abhimatani nilapitaadi varnani nirupani eva therefore because of that rule gunatvena abhimatani नील पीता दि वर्णा नील दि ब्लू पीता येलो एटसेट्रा ग्रीन एटसेट्रा वर्णा मीन कलर्स दिस कलर्स 
विच आर अभिमता कंसिडर टू बी गुण एट्रीब्यूट सो ब्लू कलर येलो कलर ग्रीन कलर ऑल दीज कलर आर कंसिडर टू बी वॉट कंसिडर टू बी गुण एट्रीब्यूट एंड सीन्स दे आर एट्रीब्यूट दे फॉर वॉट निरूपाणी एवं दे आर एट्रीब्यूट लेस दे आर दे आर नॉट है रूप नील पितादी देमसेल्स आर रूपम एंड रूपे रूपम नास्ति इन रूपा रूपम के नॉट बी देर दे फॉर दी नील पीत कलर विच आर रूपा के नॉट हेव रूपा देर फॉर नील पीतादि वर्णा कीदृशा निरूपा सो कलर आर कलर लेस कलर आर फॉबलेस ऑल आइट सो वट तथा इवन देन तेषाम ऑफ देम स्वच्छ दर्पण दर्पणाद प्रतिबिंब दृष्ट बट वी हेव गॉट द रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ दिस ब्लू कलर येलो कलर इन प्योर मिरर एटसेट्रा वॉटर मिरर प्रतिबिंब इसी सो ब्लू कलर बीइंग एन एट्रीब्यूट इट डज नॉट हैव एट्रीब्यूट सो इट्स ए निरूप ओनली सो निरूप नील पीत वर्ण हेज गॉट रिफ्लेक्शन यू कैनॉट से नील वर्ण डजेंट हैव रिफ्लेक्शन ब्लू कलर इज रिफ्लेक्टेड सो ब्लू कलर इवन दो इट इज निरूप इट इज फॉर्मलेस स्टिल इट इज रिफ्लेक्टेड सो इफ वन निरूप कैन रिफ्लेक्ट निरूप नील पीतादि वर्ण कैन बी रिफ्लेक्टेड वंस एंट्री हो गया सो विंडो इज ओपन सिमिलरलीपरहित आकाश चैतन्यो च प्रतिबिंब संभव देवा ये टिप्पणी कर बढ़िया काम कर लेते वॉट इट इवन दाष्टान ले लेते अदरवाइज दाष्टान दे मगे नहीं विल गेटअप सो इस नाव इच बैपटेली वेर आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट दृष्टान दाष्टान चैतन्य डोट टॉक अबउट दिस अगेन सो नाव इट सेवा रूपरहित आकाश चैतन्यो एवं ऑफ स्पेस एंड कॉन्शियस्नेस विच आर फ्री फ्रॉम द फॉर्म्स फॉर्मलेस कॉन्शियस एंड फॉर्मलेस दिस स्पेस बोथ ऑफ देम प्रतिबिंब रिफ्लेक्शन संभव देवा इज डेफिनेटली पॉसिबल बट वी डोंट से दट द रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ आत्मा और रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ आकाश आई विल बी लाइक रिफ्लेक्शन ऑफ दिस घटपटादी that we don't say it's a different type of reflection like the reflection of sound will not be like the reflection of the the objects you will not see some uh, picture some some object but reflection is there so reflection will not be civil will not be identical in characteristics characteristics to the reflection of the ghatapatadi the reflection of akasha will not be like the reflection of gadapatadi you don't expect so but reflection is there so eva meva rupa rahitayo ho akashayo ho cha pratibimba sambhave deva It is possible <clears throat> all right so in fact um, we we can give them anumanam You know that Akasha ha pratibimbavan nirupatvat nilapita devarnavat. So because they will understand that language only, so we will tell them like that. The space is having reflection because it is not having colors. It is not having the forms. Like what colors? <laughs> Oh, 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 look at this! One. They will be fuming inside, but they can't say anything because they are tied by their own rules. My only problem is that if we tell them their own rules, they have to keep quiet, even though they will be murmuring. So cheating, 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 cheating. What the hell? Let me put that. So we handle them like with their own rules. Okay. All right. <laughs> so now jalakasha description is over now we understand why this footnote should be read here only ah, this because of that okay now next one megha akasha so next one is megha akasha so megha and medha are different some people they get confused they they one brahmacharini was there in gujarat 
So we, her name was Medha Chaitanya. So many people, some people say Medha, Medha. Bichara ko cloud bana diya. She was made cloud. Medha means intelligence and this, this book, um, what is called Grahana Dharana Samarkyam. But Medha, so we should know. He Ashwa Medha Yaga, Ashwa Medha Yaga. <laughs> Ashwa Medha it is not, Ashwa Medha it is that. So many people Ashwa Medha Yaga. So Ashwa Medha Yaga, so God our block out. <laughs> Medha Kasha, okay. So Medha Kasha. Or here Medha Kasha, not Medha Kasha. Here I myself put <laughs> Medha Kasha. Sometimes when we criticize somebody, we become like that. You know? Therefore, somebody very nice says, she said, be careful in choosing your enemy. Because you end up becoming like your own enemy. So what you criticize, the more, sometimes you will do the same thing which you criticize. So I did that. Medha Kasha. So the space conditioned by cloud. So, Megha Kasha means cloud space. Okay. Cloud space is a samasa. See, in English also samasa is there. Megha, cloud, cloud space, pot space, all are samasa. Okay. Megha sthita ye, yavan akasha avakasham dadati thavan akasha. Megha jale pratibimbita cha, pratibimba, pratibimbita kasha cha, iti ubhayam militva. Megha kasha iti abhidhiyate. So he says, this Megha kasha is consisting of two things. The first one is Megha sthitaye. For these clouds to stay, Yavan akasha, as much space, Avakasham dadati gives accommodation. For what? For clouds to stay. Tavan Akashaha, that much space is one part of Megha Kasha. So, first component of Megha Kasha is the space which this uh, is, the, is, uh, is the space which is given to the clouds to stay. The space given for, for cloud to stay. That is called Megha Kasha. Yavan Akasha. As much space gives the accommodation to the clouds to stay, that much space is the first component of Megha Kasha. But practically, that is Megha Kasha. But technically, we need to include something else. Therefore, he said that is one only. Second is Megha Jale Pratibimbita Kasha Cha Iti. The another one is. The space which is reflected in the cloud water. So the space occupied by the clouds plus the space reflected in the water of clouds. These two put together, iti ubhayam militva, having joined together, this both having joined together, megha kashaha, or megha kasha iti abhidiyate. Both of them joined together are called Megha Kasha. So cloud space is equal to the space occupied by the cloud and the space which is reflected in that cloud. Alright. That is called this Megha Kasha. So cloud space, original cloud space plus the reflected space is called Megha Kasha. Now again Guru Pakshi. Uh, he said, how can a cloud have this reflected space? We don't see any reflection in the cloud. So he said, Nanu, Akashe Asti Megaha. He said, <laughs> in space there is cloud. Megaha Asti Akashe. The cloud is there in the space. Tatra Meghe, in that cloud, Jalam ak Jalam Akasha Pratibhimbhacha Asti Iti Atra Kim Manam. What is the Pramana? He in fact asked more two questions. What is the Pramana that there is a water in the cloud and there is a reflection of space in that cloud? Two questions. What is the basis to say that there is water in this cloud and there is a reflection in the water of the cloud? Amko to water ke pari, he has got doubt. So he said, I have doubt in the existence of water. We are seeing cloud, cloud only. We are not seeing water. 
very gross question but he said i am seeing only cloud oh white white cloud so this water color is different cloud color is different so ah, this megaha vegaha jala bhinnaha bhinna varna vatvat so bhinna varna vatvat so he is, he will say anuman so water is not there and water is not there then reflection cannot be there so that is his question so what is the basis to say there is water in the cloud and there is reflection in the cloud or reflection in the water of the cloud when water itself is doubted where is a question of reflection of the space in the cloud it is chet na if this is the doubt answer is no that is not so you don't say kim manam akshe parthike what is the basis no basis baselessly you are talking so it is said na what you are saying manam nasti iti akshepah yuktah na is not proper why he said yadyapi meghe jalasya akasham iti megas meghe jalasya akasha pratibimbasya cha na pratyakshatah grahanam athapi anumanena grahanam sambhavati eva so siddhanti says yes you are right the pratyaksha by our eyes we are not seeing water in the cloud we are not seeing the reflection of this space in the cloud you are right but pratyaksha is not the only only pramana anuman also is pramana in fact you are anumana chakshusha nayayika darkal anumana chakshusha so they are always see everything with eyes even elephant is coming there must be elephant in front of me they <laughs> they will do anuman of some anuman will there because there is a sound of elephant they will say atra gaja asti why there is a sound you know that elephant pujanam is there that sound is there therefore elephant must be there sometimes is something is there in front of in the binoculars they go hey binoculars are there something but only we have taken binoculars so we want to use it so we we'll <laughs> so when your front of lion is there it just across <laughs> you don't have to use binocular all right so here he says anumana you like it so i will give you anumanam so anumanam is the basis for establishing the water in the cloud and also the reflection in the water of the clouds so kal anuman sunayenge so we'll hear it tomorrow om purnamada purnamidam purna anudachyate purnasya purnamadaya purnameva avashishyate om shanti 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 हरि ओम श्री गुरु प्रणाम